This video is about the half angle formulas for computing cosine of theta over 2 and sine of theta over 2. Cosine of theta over 2 is either plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine theta all over 2. To figure out whether to use plus or minus, you need to know something about what quadrant the angle theta over 2 is. If you're expecting cosine theta over 2 to be negative, then you're going to need the negative sign. If you're expecting this cosine to be positive, then of course you want the positive sign since the square root of something is always positive. Notice that this formula always makes sense because the inside of the square root sign is always going to be positive or zero since cosine theta can't be any more negative than negative 1. We have a similar formula for sine of theta over 2, and that's plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine theta over 2. Notice that the formulas for both cosine of a half angle and sine of a half angle both have cosine in them. They just differ by the positive or negative sign in the inside of the square root. To see why these formulas hold, let's recall the formulas for double angles. We know that cosine of 2x is equal to 2 cosine squared x minus 1, or we can write cosine of 2x as 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. Of course, of course we can also write cosine of 2x as cosine squared x minus sine squared x, but this one won't be relevant to our discussion right now. So I'm going to start with this first formula, and I'm going to make the substitution theta equals 2x. That allows me to write cosine theta is 2 cosine squared theta over 2 minus 1, since if theta is 2x, then x is theta over 2. Now I'm going to solve for cosine of theta over 2. So I'll add 1 to both sides, divide both sides by 2, and take the square root of both sides. That gives me that cosine of theta over 2 is going to be plus or minus the square root of cosine theta plus 1 over 2 which is the formula we're looking for. I can carry a similar process out with the second formula. I'll substitute theta for 2x, which means that x is theta over 2. That gives me cosine theta is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta over 2. Now I'll solve for sine of theta over 2. I'll start by adding 2 sine squared theta over 2 to both sides. Next, I'll subtract cosine theta from both sides. Next, I'll divide both sides by 2. And finally, I'll take the square root of both sides. That gives me sine of theta over 2 is plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine theta over 2, which is the formula I was looking for. Now that we've got our formulas and know where they come from, let's use them in an example. Let's suppose that sine theta is 4 fifths and theta is between pi over 2 and pi. That means it's in the second quadrant. We want to find the exact values of cosine theta over 2 and sine theta over 2. Since theta is between pi over 2 and pi, theta over 2 will be between pi over 4 and pi over 2. So theta over 2 is somewhere in the first quadrant. That means that cosine theta over 2 and sine theta over 2 will both be positive. Let me write down my half angle formulas. And I know I can ignore the negative version and just use the positive version. Now, unfortunately, I'm just given the value of sine theta, not cosine theta. So I can't plug in directly. First, I have to use this value to figure out what cosine might be. I'll draw a right triangle with angle theta, and since sine of theta is 4 fifths, I'll decorate the triangle with a 4 and a 5 on the hypotenuse. That means that this side length is going to be 5 squared, square root of 5 squared minus 4 squared, which is the square root of 9, which is 3. That means that 
cosine theta is going to be either plus or minus three-fifths because it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Now since I'm in the angle, the second quadrant for my angle theta, cosine is actually going to be negative three-fifths. Now I can plug into my formulas. I get that cosine of theta over two is going to be the square root of one minus three-fifths over two. That simplifies to the square root of two-fifths divided by two, which is the square root of one-fifth, or one over the square root of five. Sine of theta over two is the square root of one minus cosine theta, so that's one minus negative three-fifths over two. That's the square root of one plus three-fifths, or eight-fifths over two, the square root of four-fifths, or two over the square root of five. In this video, we found formulas for the cosine of a half angle and the sine of a half angle and use them in an example.